Do you have a GTX laptop? Are you wondering what the best driver is? Well, you clicked on the right video, because in today's video, that's exactly what I'll be testing. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro of the video, I'll be comparing uh, the second latest driver, 537.34, the, pre, uh, the driver before that 537.13 and then uh, the oldest driver of the lot 536.99 somebody actually asked me the other day and then I thought let me test all the drivers I haven't tested recently because obviously after all the windows updates drivers are performing a little bit differently and so far 537.34 has been the driver I recommended after all the windows updates but before we get to my results if I could just ask you guys, um, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please, if you find this content helpful or enjoyable for that matter, please subscribe at the end of the video. And when you do it, please just hit that notification bell. To my, uh, to my current subscribers, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you don't already have it, please just hit that notification icon. It really will help me with the algorithm. And furthermore, guys, I received, uh, I received my first tip the other day. So if any of you guys can afford it, I'm not begging you, I'm just saying if you can afford it and if you want to, you can hit that little tip icon and uh, all the options on my video. That would be very much appreciated. And then for those of you that haven't seen my content yet, I do have videos on how to undervolt your CPU if it's locked. Um, this is for 19 and older. This is for tension and newer. There's a full GPU optimization guide, full C a full optimization guide from A to Z, and a whole bunch of thrust up and MSR afterburner tutorials. But you didn't click on the video for that, so let's get to my results. So as mentioned, I tested 536.99, 537.13, and 537.34, which after the latest uh, Windows updates are performing a slight little bit different. So I thought, let me retouch on those drivers. All my games are tested medium settings, except for the newer games. The newer games are generally at the low setting because I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So um, yeah, it's getting a bit old in it or long in the tooth. So uh, yeah, medium settings don't suffice anymore. Everything else is at medium. Uh, where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 is available, I use the quality setting. I do test on single player, I have to add some um, some online games, I do know, so I will in the next couple of days. And then lastly guys, if you are on an RTX platform, um, generally I find that for GTX users, your results will be very similar to mine. But RTX, I'd say probably RTX 3060 and up, uh, the drivers are going to be interfacing with your hardware a lot differently, so just bear that in mind. But at that, let's get to my results. So my recommended driver is 537.34, so I'll start uh, with the oldest driver, 536.99. We're gonna add up all the average FPSs. My total over 12 games is 820. We're gonna add up all the 1% lows. My total 1% lows are 580. So not a terrible result, but not the best. So then for the driver after that, 537.13, we're gonna add up all the average FPSs my total FPS comes to 820, so exactly the same as the previous driver. And then when I add up all the 1% lows, uh, the total 1% lows come to 585. What I did find is this is quite a good driver for Cyberpunk, uh, if you, especially if you're using a GTX card. I don't know so much for RTX card. Um, furthermore, the last driver or the second previous, or the not the latest driver, but the driver just before that, which is my preferred driver, when I add up all the average FPSs, I get to a total of 826. And then when I add up all the 1% lows, I get to a total of 587. So as you can see, 537.34 is the most stable out of the out of the three most recent drivers, excluding the most recent driver, 537.42. It's got very good 1% lows, it's got good average FPS. 537.13 also quite a good result if you play cyberpunk it's maybe a, a check-in and then 536.99 i find that it's it was quite good when it first launched but after these windows uh, windows updates it's becoming less and less stable so i wouldn't recommend that so guys if you like me if you're gaming on a gtx card 
If you want good 1% lows, I still recommend 537.34. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's Tuesday. Have a good night. Have a good week. Cheers.